What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this really cool machine over here. Okay. Believe it or not, this is gonna go really fast because this is, again, this is the magic wand of paleontology. Okay. Whoa, you can see rocks flying. The crew and I spent an entire day working alongside world-renowned paleontologist Pete Larson, where we explored a vast stretch of remote badlands. This unforgiving terrain was the perfect place to find fossils that dated back more than 25 million years. Oh my goodness. Collectively, we found a handful of mammal bones and skull fragments, but the prize specimen of the day was a small turtle shell that we safely extracted from the parched earth. Pete felt this was the perfect fossil to bring back from the field and into the lab for presentation preparation. So today we are returning to the Black Hills Institute, where we are going to learn how to properly clean up our prehistoric treasure. All right, guys, we are back from the field with our turtle. Now, what we want to do today is show you guys how these fossils get prepared for museum presentation. And the first thing we need to do is unwrap our turtle to make sure that we made it back here to the lab in one piece. Now, Pete's going to walk us through that process, and at the end, you're going to see a perfectly preserved, presentable turtle shell. Okay, so as you remember, there's, there's actually one major piece and then some smaller pieces. This is the label. We need to save this label because that's part of the history of the specimen. Okay. That tells us where it was found and the day and all that. Okay, so here are the pieces. Okay. And here's the main, here's the main mass. So guys, this is carapace and plastron together here. All right, and it's got, again, because part of it was weathered out, there are little pieces that have fallen down the bank, but you may recognize this now. Yep. So this is the way it was found. Yep. There were little lumps of dirt on here. And this is the, the, the butt end of the turtle. This is a turtle butt. And this is where the front end would be. You can see that the top of the carapace is just beautiful here mm -hmm. with the marginals all intact. It's nicely inflated. It's a really, really nice specimen. And most of the pieces, I know we found one piece for the front of the plastron here. Mm -hmm. Let's try to open this up. Yeah, we can open that up. Great. So all these little tiny chips in here could have bone in could them. Could have bone, and that one certainly does. That's in fact the very, very middle one. So this one for sure. Okay. And we'll we'll kind of set. I'm gonna make two little piles. One that for sure is bone, and one that may be bone. This is actually part of the front of the uh, that one I remember. Okay. And then this probably is not because you see this whole top surface of the turtle looks like it's all here. Right. This is a turtle rib, and the ribs are all here. So there was you know kind of spare change. But that's definitely from this turtle. And there may be some more pieces of the turtle there. And there's a little bit of, a few crumbs in here we'll go through. We'll usually use a screen and wash those. Okay. But for the time being, we're gonna go for the gusto here. We're gonna take this nice turtle nice. and we're gonna, we're gonna do a little cleaning. So there's a little bit of glue there. Otherwise there's really not much for glue on that guy. Wow, so you're telling me that this is gonna clean up and really look like a turtle shell. In it's here. gonna look like a turtle shell. And what we use here is the paleontologist's magic wand. And when you see it, mm. you're gonna say, Merlin's beard, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, this is pretty awesome, just like this, to see the carapace and the plastron safely back here in the lab. And the next step is to start cleaning it. And start cleaning it. What, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this really cool machine over here. Okay, come on over, guys. What we basically are gonna do is we're gonna throw fine particles of dust at this turtle. Okay. At high speeds, at high pressure. We're using uh, upwards of 200 PSI. We will probably only use about 80 PSI pounds per square inch. Okay. So fairly high pressure. And I'll do a little test. Okay. And then we'll let you do much of the cleaning. And believe it or not, this is gonna go really fast because this is, again, this is the magic wand of paleontology. Okay. All right. So here's the noisy part. Maybe not. Too bad. It's not horrible. Okay. Could be worse. Maybe live through that. We'll talk loud. And then I'm going to turn this guy on. I turned the pressure way down to 30 psi. Okay. Just I don't want to hurt this little guy. So sodium bicarbonate has a hardness of about two. Bone has a hardness of 3.5. That's on a scale of one to ten, with the talcum powder being the softest, number one, mm -hmm. and diamond being the hardest, number ten. So you never want to use something that's harder than the bone in this machine. So I'm gonna go from a long ways away first, and you'll see something real magical real quick. Whoa! Check that out. Oh, that was pretty cool. 
So I'm just going to clean a little spot, and you can kind of that. use an intermittent. Like I, there's a little foot pedal down here. I'm using on my foot to turn it on. Almost like off. a sewing machine. Yeah, like a sewing machine. Okay, there you go. That's cool. So this All will be, right. Is this your first fossil preparation? This is my first fossil preparation. And it's perfectly fitting that it just also happens to be a turtle. All right, Pete, so my hands are going into the machine. Okay. I'm gonna gently pick up the turtle here. All right, then I just put my foot on this little pedal down here. And it should blast out some powder. Okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, okay, I got it. Wow. Is that awesome? Merlin's beard, that's amazing! <laughs> wow, it just blasts all that matrix right off of there. Wow. It's very satisfying to see the ribs of the turtle's carapace just appearing out from beneath the matrix. Look at that, and I've got that whole section already cleared. Now this is the same process that they use on even dinosaur fossils to blast away little bits of rock. Now, while Coyote's doing this, what are some of the uh, things we're looking out for, Pete? Well, we're watching for fractures. So there's a little bit of fracturing showing up, but not, I don't think there's anything serious. And then all that little, see all that little white stuff will come off. And you can really, I can probably turn you up. I'm gonna turn you up just a tiny bit. Okay. Let's start at lower pressure and work our way up. Big chunk here. Woo, that's cool. Unbelievably satisfying. Now, it does take patience, just like when you're digging it out from the earth. But look at how you can see There's that turtle shell being revealed. And the plastron, plastron will clean very fast. Because okay, it, let's take a look at, at, at it's blasting just, some of the plastron. No yeah, watch, watch how fast you can do this one. All right, here we go, guys. We're about to reveal the plastron. Whoa, I can see rocks flying. Yeah, that's the little chunks of mud that were stuck to the bottom. The little chips of matrix is flying off left and right here. Plastron is coming into view. Woo, that's cool. Wow, you can almost see some of the coloration in the bone. Look, you can see the yellowish color. That is pretty. All right, I'm gonna flip it back over to the carapace. Let's see if we can get off all of this extra debris. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's like working with a really fine point spray paint can. I'm just really working to get all of this fine matrix out from within the turtle's ribs here. That is looking good. All right, guys. I think that's about as far as we're gonna take this turtle. The timer has gone off. Oh yeah. That turtle is cooked. Or I should say cleaned <laughs> off. Now what started as something that looked like a baked potato has now completely been cleaned up and it's nearly ready for museum presentation. How cool is that? That is really awesome. I can't believe the detail that's come out. All right, let's bring it back over here to the table and let Pete take a final look. All right, guys, well, here we have it. A perfectly cleaned turtle fossil. There's the carapace, there's the plastron, and Pete, how would you say I did? I think you did an awesome job. I mean, especially a first time preparation, I'd say you get an A plus for the day. Yes, I have passed. Now, we know there are a couple pieces missing, a couple that we found in the field. First off is the bottom of the plastron here. Yeah, so so that, this will need to be reattached. It'll go right there. Okay. And then we have a bit of the turtle butt right here, which mm -hmm. is very important to turtles as well as people. And there, it goes right there. That's a marginal. Mm -hmm. And this marginal will go right here. Nice. And uh, the other piece we know that we found doesn't fit because right. it would go in here and it's too big, too yep. thick. Well, it's always important to pick up all the pieces that you find in the field just in case. So this is, I'd say about 90% complete. Now it's clean most of the way. There'll still be a little bit of touch up that is done, but that is almost museum presentation ready. Now I have graduated from turtles, which means maybe we move on to the T-Rex. All you need to do is find us one and you can help clean it. All right, guys. Well, that sounds like another adventure to be had. Well, Pete, thank you so much 
for showing us today how to clean fossils. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay fossilized. We'll see you on the next prehistoric adventure. I think we have all stood in a museum, looking up with wonder at the skeleton of a dinosaur. There is no questioning the fact that these ancient creatures are impressive. Yet what you may not realize is that the process of bringing them back to life is a wonder unto its own. Through the process of finding, extracting, and preparing something as simple as a turtle shell, I hope that we have all found a new sense of appreciation for the tireless work paleontologists like Pete put into their craft. I can only imagine how exciting the moment would be if you found a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton, to be a part of the team that safely exhumed it from the earth, and to witness its preparation and ultimate presentation to the world. My first turtle fossil was certainly a great place to start. So here's to big dreams and even bigger dinosaurs. If you thought preparing a turtle shell for presentation was fascinating, make sure to go back and watch our exciting journey into the Badlands where we found an impressive haul of prehistoric treasure. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Beyond Dinosaurs. I saw this and it's definitely the largest fossil that I encountered. This is a, a, a rhino tibia, a distal tibia. 